We're going to use Kramer's rule to solve uh, this augmented system right here. So we're going to pick out what A is. So A is a coefficient 2, 1, negative 1, negative 1, 2, 4, 1, negative 2, negative 3. Uh, B is 3, negative 3, 4. And if you need to write down what X is, X is just, uh, I'll just go with X1, X2, X3. It's the variable matrix. So first of all, is Kramer's rule applicable? We're going to go determinant of A. Determinant 2, 1, negative 1, negative 1, 2, 4, 1, negative 2, negative 3. We'll row expand across row 1. Remember to alternate signs. 2 times the minor is 2, 4, negative 2, negative 3. Minus 1 times negative 1, 4, 1, negative 3. Plus negative 1 times negative 1, 2, 1, negative 2. Negative 6. You want to be careful here. We get negative 8, but it's minus negative 8. Be careful with a double or triple negative sign. Negative 1 times positive 3 minus 4 minus 1 times 2 minus 2. So negative 6 plus 8 is 2. So we have 4 plus 1 is 5. So determinant of A is 5. So x1 will be a1 divided by, determinant of a1 divided by a, we know what a is, determinant of a is 5. How do we get a1? So if we flip back, a1 was swap column 1 with b. And we'll row expand on 1. So we have 3 times 2, 4. 2, 4, negative 2, negative 3. Minus 1 times negative 3, 4. 4, negative 3. Minus negative 1 times negative 3, 2, 4, negative 2. So 2 times negative 3, negative 6, negative 8, but it needs to be plus, negative 6 plus 8, minus 1, negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, minus 16, plus 1, 6, minus 8, and 3 times 2, minus 1 times minus 7, minus 2, 6, plus 7, minus 2, 12, minus 2, 10. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So there's x1, you get 2. And that was a1, now we'll go to a2. Two, negative one, one, three, negative three, four. We're going column two, swapping that out. We'll go row one again. Remember, we are swapping. We got to keep. Careful count of our signs. We go plus, minus, and last one will be plus. Minus three times negative one, four, one, negative three. Plus negative one times negative one, negative three, one, four. So we have two times nine minus 16 minus three times three minus four minus one times negative four plus three. 2 times negative 7, minus 3 times negative 1, minus 1 times negative 1, 
negative 14 plus 3 plus 1, negative 10. So x2 equals negative 10 over 5, which is negative 2. We got x1, we got x2, and last up we'll get x3. So we need a3 and a3. So we're just taking row column three and putting in column B. So determinant. And let's get crazy and do uh, row three expansion. So good news is it goes plus minus plus minus plus. So it's still gonna go plus minus plus here. We have one, three, two, negative three, minus negative two, times two, three, minus one, minus three, plus four, two, one, negative one, two, minus three, uh, it's not plus six, minus three, minus six, minus three, minus six, plus two times negative six, minus negative three plus three plus four four we have negative one but it's minus one negative nine plus two times negative three plus four times five negative nine minus six plus twenty 15 plus 20 equals positive 5, so A3, uh, determinant of A3 over determinant A, 5 over 5, which is 1, and of course that was X3 uh, equals 1. Putting that all together, X1, X2, X3 equals 2, negative 2, 5. And there's our final answer with uh, Kramer's rule. And of course, you could plug it in. You would need to rewrite uh, the three equations you get out of here. And that should be the solution right there. There's a few uh, algebraic properties of determinants that could be useful. They're all uh, multiplicative properties. So if you multiply inside of a determinant, it's the same thing as a determinant of each, and then multiply that. And if you take a to the nth power, a times a times a times a, n times, that's the same as the determinant of a, that number, raised to the n power. Scalar times a, it's almost this. You can almost bring the scalar out. The only thing you have to be careful of, so this only works when uh, determinants are only for square matrices. So if a is an n by n, the scalar comes out to the nth power right here. So these could be useful on uh, the homeworks for uh, some of the determinant questions.